What's going on guys? Ben Gulligan here coming back at you with another video today back on the Ben Bones Road to Glory ready to bone uh, Plenty of opponents here now the one thing that I will note is that this is a buy week We ended last episode buying power beyond power which increased the spectacular catch Which is by the way uh, not how you spell spectacular. I'm just noticing under career boost. That's <laughs> That's a pretty obvious mistake spectacular catch not a word Spin move and juke move. So, um, I don't know what spectacular catch is, but we did upgrade that, uh, interestingly enough. But we're in our bye week. We could do our practice here, and we're going to. But unfortunately, we did end up losing to Georgia, who was the number one team in the country. And they proved that by dominating us. It seemed like our defense couldn't do anything to stop them. And it was a bright idea by the Auburn coaching staff and play callers, too. Decide not to give the ball to the best player in the nation, and that is, of course, Ben Bones. If we check the Heisman watch, he's still holding the top spot. Also, it is notable, like, with this roster, for some reason, when it was imported into Road to Glory, all the positions are wrong. I've mentioned this before, but, like, Patrick Sertan Jr., or the second, I should say, uh, is a corner at Bama. Benjamin Victor, who's now in the NFL and the Giants practice squad, is a receiver. Jason Stanley from Georgia is not even a player I'm familiar with. I, I, or maybe I am, but I, I don't remember him. And then Sheldrick Redwine is in the NFL. He's on the Browns. He is a safety, or he played DB at Miami, so there's a little bit of both. But uh, yeah, so I wouldn't really worry about the position so much. The same way I wouldn't really worry about our quarterback, who you guys know I love to get on, Jalen Harris, who plays tight end for Auburn. Uh, is the worst quarterback in the history of the game. And I don't mean just college football. I mean at any level. But his stats do go with a quarterback. He's not bad because, you know, he's actually a tight end in real life. He, you know, the names just don't correspond to the position as they do in real life. I don't get it either. We're going to do our practice, try to get some skill points for whatever our... Uh, packages end up being and we'll see that in the next week after the bye the schedule does not get easier from here on out I believe we have Bama and LSU so it's a yikes we almost have no shot at all at playing in the BCS national championship we would have to win out for sure we'd have to beat LSU which is a coin toss we'd have to beat Alabama which is a coin toss and then in the SEC championship we'd have to beat Georgia probably and only then would we have a shot to play in the national championship, I think. But that's, I, that's a lot of things have to go our way. Oh my God, I know this is just practice. Jalen Harris just body bagged. I think it was a linebacker, maybe. That's, and now he's back to his old self. He's like, let me just throw it away on a screen. How about buy some time and throw the screen? You know what happens on every single screen pass in the history of screen passes? is pressure is going to come in on the quarterback. The entire design of a screen pass is for the offensive line to give the appearance that they're going to be blocking the defensive line, only to disengage so the pressure can get through to create space for the screen. And Jalen Harris is like, I'm going to throw it away. Uh, he continues to bother me immensely. That's really it. And we're at a 1,000 uh, coach trust. There we go. So we'll go over that at the end of this practice what that fully means. So honestly, not a great week of practice. We only got just a little over a 1,000 XP. That's not bad, especially considering where we were before Ben Bones was a freak of nature, which is, that's what he is now. Almost heading into his junior season, Ben Bones is unbelievably good. And you can see, you know, it's coming up on a 1,000 yards receiving in a season. Probably going to hit that. Probably going to do a lot of harm to any defense we face as long as we really get involved in the game more because they're like how about we take the best overall difference maker in college football in ben bones trying to bone people don't get him involved as a receiver certainly don't hand him the ball how about we pass block with ben bones consistently or better yet take him off the field in game winning situations to bring in his backup cam martin who is almost as useless as jalen harris Almost. I, w I wouldn't say anyone is quite as useless as Jalen Harris is, but if anyone was close, it would be Cam Martin and some players on the offensive line. Okay, so before I forget, and usually I do forget, thankfully I have not at the moment. We're going to check out Coach Trust here before we buy our skill upgrades. And the great thing about now becoming... Wait. Hold on here. Did we somehow not get up to 1,000? We were at 1,000. 
but I don't I mean I'm confused I'm I'm super confused but uh, alright we I, I guess we don't have hometown hero for some reason but we'll be able to after this game probably flip the running play at home games so there's some value to that and then of course team leader which will probably get his junior year Still don't like the current play called, hit the extra plays button, and you now have two new plays to choose from. You can use the ability up to 10 times a game now. Wow, amazing. But uh, we'll check out the skill upgrades here. Ben Bones is very, very good. It just depends, what do we want to upgrade? You got wings, there's no point. We have acceleration speed maxed out. Ooh, marathon. That's plus two to stamina. That that is gonna have to be bought stamina is important i'm finding out and we need more of it so stamina and injury getting upgraded as ben bones is up to a 95 overall unreal we're gonna go back into the practice though is there any skill grade or skill upgrade i want to get turn power could be decent route running is irrelevant but agility going above an 80 and a juke move going even higher than a 90 could be very very good to get and that's doable with a great practice and a good game i mean that's certainly certainly 4000 xp so let's just come out here grind practice beat lsu pretty great week of practice almost 2000 xp that's going to take us into a really good spot in the game now we're not going to be able to afford the package that we wanted before the game but after lsu i think it's you know a given as long as they get ben bones involved somewhat which i guess is asking a lot now, I know that they're 7-3. and three. They've lost already a few times this year. But LSU could end our season. It, it's not so much about whether or not that they get into the SEC Championship or they get into the BCS National Championship at this point. They could just play, you know, uh, Killjoy and Buzzkill and end our entire season with a win here. So, we really need to pull this one out. That was a great, uh, great play design there. They're like, what if we motion Ben Bones across the field? And then what we'll do is make him pass block. That was great. And then Jalen Harris, of course, got sacked for a loss of 10 because he couldn't see the pressure coming in because he's absolutely blind. That's a great play there, too. I mean, do we want to win? Do we want to play in the national championship? Here's third and 17. Ben Bones, he's going to pass block. I mean, give me a break. We pick up 12. Sick. Sick. But, uh, all right, I mean, here's another pass blocking situation. Uh, but LSU didn't score. If we actually play defense this game, it doesn't matter how inept the offense is. Because we'll find a way to win. Because we'll score once, maybe. Second and nine. Going over the middle. That's a big catch. That's a big broken tackle as well. Roger McCreary, 24-yard pickup toward midfield. And another pass blocking situation. And, yes, I know I have a way to change the play. As LSU's up 14 nothing now. Did they score the first time and acted like they didn't? We got the ball back so quickly, I guess I didn't even notice. But, um, yeah, I want to save those. I don't want to want to use those all the time. So we get a, another big completion there, this time to Will Hastings. More pass blocking. I swear I'm going to I'm gonna end the series. J hand the ball off! That should just show something about Ben Bones right there, though. Ben Bones engaged with the edge rusher so the tackle could back up. That's what this, that's what we're doing here. Ben Bones can play tackle. I mean, they have him blocking enough. Clearly, we're not doing anything as a runner with these awful play calls. Third and nine. I feel like we could be wide open here up the middle. Depends what the linebackers do. Yeah, exactly. Ben Bones. I mean, he's a better receiver out of the backfield than a runner at this point because... All we want to do is pass the ball every play. We're, we're doing whatever we can. We could win a national championship, and I guess it, it doesn't really matter about Ben Bone's individual accolades or whatever. But we're driving down the field. We're down by two touchdowns. We have to come away with seven. Jalen Harris, please hand the ball off. Thank God. 62. Great block. Ben Bones, get into the end zone. Perfect. Touchdown. 23-yard rush for the Bone Meister. Get boned, LSU. Who's the real Tigers? And LSU scores again. And now it's 21 to 7. 
We're getting an actual running play here, though. And we could flip the play if we wanted to. Not on this counter. That's a, not really a thing. But uh, just that is an ability we have. Now I got to remember. I just kind of ran into the offensive line there. But it doesn't matter because it is a touchdown. Ben Bones. A little bit unorthodox, but 52 yards all the way to the end zone. Ben Bones is whipping out his last name and is shoving it down the throat of the LSU Tigers. Ben Bones. Single-handedly carrying the team on his back as LSU scores. Another touchdown. Great safety blitz. Ben Bones going to be wide open here. Trying to get open. Harris went to the left side of the field. And picked up 21 to Will Hastings. Goodness. Get it to Ben Bones. Thank you. We're going to stay in bounds here. Just kidding. Didn't want to do that anyway. Third and one. We're running the ball. This is what we need to do more of. Now, is the blocking going to be there or no? Uh, no. No, I... Uh, tried to turn that up to the right. Probably should have spun into it. But it's fourth and two. We're running the same play. I put it into the hurry up. We just need a block in the inside. Maybe I'll follow it this time. That was that was a little better. Clock's going to stop momentarily because we called a timeout. We didn't really need to do that. Ben Bones off the field, but we scored, and LSU scored again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Block, please? Nah. All right, you know what? We're doing something, though. We're getting we're getting going. And this, this PA bubble, it's, it's like Ben Bones is an option, but he never really is because... Jalen Harris always throws the ball too soon, which you should on the screen, which is good. Especially when it goes for a negative two. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going to go to extra plays here on third and seven. Curl flats. This is beautiful because we'll get the angle coming out of the backfield. The middle of the field seems wide open. Oh, and Jalen Harris is going to run straight into a sack. You are a blithering idiot. Nick Brosette, running back at LSU, formerly, uh, plays defensive end now. I'm going to go to a different play again. What can we do here? I don't like any of these options, really. We'll go to the buck read option. Can we flip this play, too? Well, we, we'd have to flip the entire play, which we really can't do. Uh, here is the handoff. Nope, it's going to be kept by Jalen Harris, who is horrific. We need a touchdown to stay in the game. That's what it comes down to. Third and seven as Jalen Harris throws it away. Three rushes for negative four and a half yards on average. It's great. Now, sacks are played into that. Ah, Bones is open. Did we get the first down at least? No. It's fourth and three. We have to go for it. We're going into the hurry up. Will Hastings is having a game, by the way, but it doesn't matter. Jalen Harris, you, you need to find a way to get the first down here. Ben Bones, up the middle. What are you doing? Ben Bones makes the tackle. It was so open that we get bumped over the middle of the field. I know we weren't running the correct route. That's not really on Jalen Harris, but that is going to be the game, probably. Ugh, probably shouldn't have called for the ball there, but the op I didn't anticipate being bumped, honestly. That's a little bit annoying. I like how down by 21, we're trying to establish the run. Now's the time. I mean, it can't be. Absolutely can't be. To the left, Ben Bones, open. Make your own magic. He's not much of a magician. Play down the right sideline. Javon Myers picks up 39. I mean, we're not still in the game, but maybe. Oh, handoff, Ben Bones. Touchdown number three of the game. Shocker. The shocker. 42-27. Um, LSU looks like they're going to play spoiler here. Our defense actually stepped up. This game is not over. We're not calling that play. We'll go curls, I guess. Oh, Ben Bones down the middle of the field. Didn't even call for it. Didn't even call for it. 40 yards through the air. Jalen Harris actually stood in the pocket, made a read, made an accurate pass. And got a 40-yard pickup? Color me surprised. Check down. Okay, not ideal there. But that's okay. That's okay. That that time we're calling for it with Ben Bones. Another first down. If we score a touchdown right here, this is anyone's game. Not a whole lot of time left. 
We scored a touchdown, 35-42. And now a minute and six seconds. We only have two extra plays uses, and we have to go the length of the field to tie. Well, we need the extra points here, which we've missed before. Only a minute. That's wide open. There we go, baby! Will Hastings, 31 yards. He continues his fantastic game. Eight catches for 134. The clock is ticking, though. 55 seconds to play. Can we get that? Can we throw that? Throw that? Okay, I'll take that. I don't know if he's thrown to Ben Bones or Caleb Kim or what, but the fact of the matter is that it's a first down. I don't know how he didn't get out of bounds. How is the clock still moving? We have no timeouts. This is unbelievable. Throw it. Ah, you're, you're weak. Five-yard pickup. Didn't get out of bounds. Why are we off the field? I'm confused. 20 seconds. We have to get to the line. Please. We got to get to the end zone here. Got to get to the end zone. Actually, sideline. I, I will take the stoppage of the clock. 12 seconds. A sack ends the game. We got to get in the end zone, Ben. Over the middle of the field. We might be the primary read here. Ben Bones! Touchdown! Touchdown number four of the game for the Bonemeister. LSU is finding out firsthand what it's like to get boned. Kick the extra point, and we are starting overtime. Is this the first overtime game we've played? It absolutely is. Oh my goodness. Overtime against LSU. This is crazy. We dropped to number eight. We need to win this game. Hand off to Bones. He's still going. First down. Picks up 11. Now, a touchdown doesn't end it. LSU would have a chance to score as well. And it's not like Ben Bones can come out here and play safety and make a play. Although, that would be super cool. It is first and 10. Fresh set of downs. Here's another handoff. Blocks are good. 62. Touchdown. Ben Bones. Number five of the game. The fourth on the ground. Putting together the absolute Heisman performance of the century. Yeah, great work, 62. You're a hero. You're a hero. Let's go play by play. Justin Jefferson's the LSU quarterback. He finds Leonard Fournette. Just kidding. Leonard Fournette, Leonard's younger brother. Not a joke. That's his actual name. Three-yard rush by Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Justin Jefferson loses three, and LSU scores. Five-yard pass to Leonard Fournette for a touchdown. And Ben Bones can be back on the field. LSU scored again. That's right. That's how that works. Um, yeah, so they got the football right back. Scored another touchdown. And now, if we don't score a touchdown, as Ben Bones is starting out here as a blocker, if we don't score a touchdown, the game is over. Why would you take the... Oh, my God. Don't even follow the blocks at all. Great idea. Hand the ball off to Ben Bones. It's second and eight. I mean, I don't want to use the extra play just yet. We're going to see what we can do here. But it looks like Ben Bones is not really being covered here. Hopefully they're in man coverage and the, the left side corner follows the slant. Ben Bones out of the backfield. Perfect. Juke back inside. Falls forward. First down. I mean, Ben Bones is single-handedly keeping LSU in this game. I think that that's clear. And Jalen Harris gets the new record for passing yards in a game. He's bad. You can thank Ben Bones. He'll be waiting for your check. You know, the one that you're not allowed to take? <sighs> He's scumbag. Get it to Ben Bones on the screen. Cut it back inside. Follow the block. Cut it back outside. Touchdown. Ben Bones again. This one, number six of the game. I mean, can you even believe this performance? Can you even believe it? That's got to be the record for most total touchdowns in a game. As we're going to see if, uh, why is, hold on. We got, we got the football again, obviously, but they took Ben Bones off the field and he just rushed for six and it's not even me. Here's second and four. We got to score another TD. Here's a sweep. Blockers are fantastic. And we just slide right past him. Touchdown number seven for Ben Bones. What an unbelievable game. Do you, this all almost reminds me of the LSU, uh, Texas A&M game of last season in 2019. I was watching that at a Buffalo Wild Wings in New Jersey, my uh, home state. I live in Houston now. 
as it looks like we're gonna go for two and um, I'm gonna call an extra play on this and we're gonna run I don't like any of these options jet sweep I guess we're still gonna block um, and that game went to like four overtimes I was at b-dubs at like two in the morning it was pouring rain I don't know maybe that's a good story I mean that's a terrible play call um, I couldn't even change it I tried I tried it. Now we have to just hope and pray that the defense shows up. It's fourth and two. And they pick up 13. And now they score a touchdown. They didn't get the two point conversion. So that's perfect. But they did just score. Leonard Fournette. Obviously, at, at a certain point, I guess it's not obvious, but at a certain point in overtime. I believe it's after the second overtime. You have to go for two on every single uh, touchdown. And, I mean, we're just at a deadlock, at a standstill with LSU here. This is absolutely wild. We're going to call it an extra play here. Inverted Veer is going to do the trick. We're only down six. A touchdown and a two-point conversion wins the game. Hand off Ben Bones. Get out of the way. We're moving to the hurry up here. That's a good play. I mean, we're going to take it again. I feel like on every inverted veer, it always ends up being a handoff. And I like that, even though it seems like we're going to be tackled every time. Jalen Harris actually keeps it himself. Fights forward. Second and five. This might be only a one-game episode here. This one is going incredibly long. It's gone to like five overtimes. Here's second and five. This is the ESPN classic of a lifetime. Handoff up the middle. Ben Bones. Touchdown. I'm losing track. Is that number eight? It's 68-68. And we're going with slants where he has to pass block. He has six rushing touchdowns. Two receiving touchdowns. And we're making him block on every two-point conversion attempt. This is for the game. You're making him pass block. It's unbelievable. And it's converted. The two-point conversion is good. That is going to be your final. Auburn wins 70-68. to 68. Ben Bowen's obvious player of the game. Had a tackle even to go with his eight total touchdowns. Ten catches. I mean, I don't even want to know the total yards on this game. 166 plus 132. I mean, that's almost 300 total yards. I think it's just like a few yards shy. I'm not really a math guy. I'm really not. But I think it's close. I think it's 298. I could be off base on that. I'm not sure. But six rushing touchdowns to go with two receiving touchdowns. It's Heisman difficulty, clearly. And that is, of course, the new number one game rank. I mean, unreal. Clear ESPN Classic. Oh, it's uh, it's crazy we managed to win that game. I mean, LSU obviously unranked, but uh, that could have been disastrous. And LSU almost won. And it doesn't get any easier in Week 14 against the Alabama Crimson Tide. 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 Alabama Crimson Tide, who are ranked and are ranked inside the top 10. This one could be absolutely brutal. Also, we got like 6,000 XP that game. And I didn't end up buying the agility upgrade. I could cancel it. We'll just see whatever is there in the skill upgrades. But that's going to happen in the next episode. This one was a, a short one, maybe, as far as videos go. But it was a long one because that game went to, like, like what, six overtimes? 70 to 68 final insanity. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Yeah.